That's right. Lori Wallace is trying it out on her pony. I'm sorry, that's a dog. <laughs> it's just the size of a pony. Cody! You it's are going to give dog. him a complex. Quit saying that. <laughs> okay, I got my mask back on. Okay. I already got a text from someone who will remain nameless, a friend, making fun of me because I was trying to get it back on. But guess what? It's hard to breathe in this thing all morning. So I had to take a little break. But I'm back. I'm back, and I have my friends here from Doggone Perfect, uh, 15 to 20 years in the area. They have been working, uh, going door to door, doing your uh, grooming at your home. They've made a lot of changes. They told us about them last hour. But I have Miss Emma here. She's a helper, and Ethan, he's helping too. What is your dog's name? Duke. Duke. All right, so what are we doing with Duke here, Nicole? Well, we're going to give a little lesson about trimming nails. Um, the first thing oh, is you always want to make sure you have some styptic powder. Um, or cornstarch if you don't. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. Make sure you have, just in case you cut a little bit too much and they bleed. Well, thank you, too. I know, this is so scary oh, to wow. do, but this is okay. the sweetest, calmest dog, so, so this is going to be the easiest way we could do it. One of the biggest mistakes is people think, oh, this nail is really big. I can take a lot off. No, his nails are actually really, really short. They're clear, so you can see it. And this is a good one here. There's just the little tip. That's all you can take off is this little, little bit right here. Boom, like that, that's all you can do. So you think a big nail I can take a lot off, you really can't. The safest way um, to do nails also is a, 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 um, a Dremel tool, okay? They make these specifically for dogs, this is one of them. And the nice thing about the Dremel is you can turn it on and you just do it very lightly. One, two, three, one, two, three. You guys, how good is this dog? There's a reason why Max is not being featured in this segment. So you just do it short like that, and even though the nails look big, that's really about as short as, as, you, as you can get them. The last one you want to check is the dew claw. This one can be tricky because it does not wear down and can get long. His are pretty short, though. So, but to do it, you just take the very, very tip off, just like that. That's all you need to do. And that's okay. it. Now, the other thing we wanted to show you with uh, my golden doodle, obviously the coat is a little bit tricky. They get matted, so the brushing is super important. Also important on short-haired dogs, but it's a little bit of a different process. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you don't want to take a brush like we used on Max. That could hurt their skin, irritate their skin. It doesn't feel good. So this is called a Zoom Groom. And it's good for the short-haired dogs, for labs, for pit bulls, for hounds, very short, for beagles. And you can just take and you just do this. This is all you do. He actually had a bath yesterday, so he's not shedding too much right now. But you just do that, up, down, every which way. And it uh, gets off the hair, the dirt, and the best thing is it doesn't irritate their skin. And well, they thank like you it. so like much. It. Yes, great tips. The phone number there right on the track, doggone perfect. I mentioned this earlier. I want to say it again. They are open. They are doing their grooming services uh, mobily still, but they are very, very busy. So you might have to wait a little while before you can get in. In the meantime, hopefully these tips help you out. Um, again, all very, very busy uh, groomers out and about right now trying to uh, see all of their clients. So patience is key, guys. I'll send it back to you. I mean, round right, of applause for that dog. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, so mm -hmm. calm. So calm.